not easy for it to trigger. There's a few different caveats there. So, what about you guys? Have you guys played any Rebel Fenrau? I mean, I'm not going to say an I-6 Fang Fighter is by any means bad. I mean, it's an I-6 in that platform. It's pretty damn good, but if you guys gotten a chance to try it out, let me know. We're set to go. And time has started and we're underway. Let me get my time started here. So our first maneuver is at 740, just a little behind, but that's all right. Starting us off with AP5. Doing a three straight. I'm going to grab that calc. Next up, we have got click. Doing a two bank. Going to grab locks on the obstacles. Actually, oh yeah, that's right. You should probably put it on friendlies because of Click's ability. So, gonna put it on Rick and Obi Wan. Obi Wan! Next up, Dutch Vander. He has a plan. I'm gonna take the focus. Dutch got ion torpedoes and ion missiles. I don't know, he could take both. Uh, I usually like uh, some sort of turret on Dutch, but uh, no turret on him this time. Grabbing locks on the obstacles. That's again for the jamming. And Ada Anakin. Gonna lock as well. Gonna purple lock. All the locks out there. Make that jam useless. Here we go. Wedge Antilles. Foils closed. Gonna boost forward after doing a... It's like a three forward. And Fenrau just doing a one hard. And barrel roll up. And to the back. And we are back to dials. What do you guys think? Betting's still open here. It's gotten quiet. No one's saying anything. Am I talking to myself? I'll talk to myself for a while. I'll do what I need to do. I do want to say, you know, I'll take the opportunity to, to mention that we are going to be doing a meme contest. If you guys haven't seen the 312 Squadron Discord's meme uh, channel, it's amazing. So we're going to be doing a, uh, a meme contest, essentially just post memes and only memes that are reacted to get counted for the contest. And every month we'll have a meme master. So I just posted a video from Charlie Hop uh, Hopkinson. It's a YouTube short. Qui-Gon reacts to Anakin killing younglings. I'll actually post the link in the chat. It is really funny. <laughs> it's worth watching. So there's that. Super short. It is a YouTube short after all. Let's see, positioning. I can't really tell who I favor here. Uh, but De you know, Desi having Anakin kind of all, uh, being the lone wolf makes sense. Try to sneak in some shots. No auto blasters, no marksmanship, none of that. I'm not sure if the 2.0 Anakin can take it. I'm not sure if, you know, if they gave it back to him, that cannon slot or not. But if you guys are wondering what rule set we're playing with right now, we're playing old school 2.0, meaning there are bids. So Deslin had a four point bid, but Thomas had a five. So Thomas opted to give first player to Desi. Um, the only change that is newer that they will be playing with is that gas clouds do not give you a blank to an evade conversion. Everything else is as we knew it like a year ago. Oh, got a two bank. And a focus from Dutch. No road, oof. No, no road. Um, I know that I actually prefer road in 2.0 now. It's kind of aged like fine wine for me. Um, it just gives the other person a little bit more of a chance with certain pilots. Yeah, it just yeah. I mean, it's just like if you're going up against Gurry and you got a couple i fives and you're moving last, you're moving first. You know, it's not an auto loss. Unless that person doesn't know what they're doing with Gurry, of course. Got Anakin doing the barrel roll. Gonna try to come in on the flank. Here comes Wedge. We got old school Wedge, man. Wedge with no upgrades at all. But the Wedges we see these days, nowadays, he's got everything. You know, he's got Proton Torpedoes, he's got R3 Astromech. 
He's got Elusive, or he's got Predator, so maybe got Crack Shot. He is a thick with five Cs kind of boy. But no, only he's not not even not even thick. He's just a lean machine. In 2.0. Back to dials. We're already on the third round. Things just moving faster here. I love the tempo. I love the pace. Who won the last game? It was Matt. Matt did squeak it out. My favorite Rebel 2.0 list is Wedge, Luke, Thane, and Blount. That sounds all pretty similar to the the one that uh, played Ollie at Worlds. Um, I think his name was was it Daniel? I can't remember his name. Um, it was a similar list though. I don't think I had Luke in it though. It was like a five ship list. I think I had like Jake and I had Wedge, Blount. There was uh, maybe Garvin was in there. I can't remember. Very pure for sure. Like when we do NW Vader Day. Daniel Taylor. Yep. Thank you so much. Celebrate. Um, when we do NW Vader Day, I mean, I just, I like the simplicity of it. Like, Manny was like, because we both play 2.5 at the game store, but he's like, man, like, it's just like, not so many upgrades. It's kind of nice. I'm like, I know. I've always enjoyed that aspect of 2.0, or like, you know, like even Poe, 2.0 Poe had like three or four upgrades max. It's usually like Black One heroic r4 and maybe he had like like over what is it called overdrive thrusters or something but yeah it's fine just takes a while to, a while to get used to but i'm glad to be hosting um the 2.0 legacy league we also have our 2.5 league you guys can see over here up here uh right here there you go so the details on the 2.5 league we have an awesome elusive and a mandalorian card so we just here at 312, we we greet and support all players of X-Wing because we want you to have a good time. If you got a problem with that, get the hell out of here. Thank you. Please and thank you. Alright, gonna take a focus click. Boom click things. And Dutch is doing a one straight. Probably trying to catch. Uh, range controlling a little bit here so that next turn can try to, to catch um, more people to give locks, but we'll be able to give someone else a target lock on click at least. Does Wedge want to grab a lock as well? Or... I guess not. Yep, Wedge is going to grab one. Wedge gets to ignore range restrictions with Dutch's ability. Pretty damn good support piece. Don't expect Dutch to do too much, but the ion control could be could be good. Alright. Boost forward. Should actually post in the unless someone already did post in the 2.0 discord that we're doing this right now because i don't think uh yeah no no we have not so i'm gonna do that real quick with a game of our legacy league cool all right back to it what did i miss what's up dave how's it going man Blue and Maze. Blue and Maze 17. Because the other 16 were taken. <laughs> Wedge coming in hot there with a the boost. So keeping the wings closed. Good to hear. Good to hear, man. Are you playing in our league? Did you sign up? I think you're playing in the, you're playing in this one, I know. But we also have the 2.5 one. I don't know. I don't want... There's so many leagues going on. I don't want people to be suffocated by all of it. But some people are... Looking to get X-Wing games in, so it's one way to do it. So who do we have? Are we going into It's like it's unobstructed. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it is obstructed. Into click. Yep, going into click. Double modded, but one less die. So click should get three. Got roll in the dice box. Here we go. There it is. Thank you, Des. Spend a lock, reroll one. Spend the focus, make a hit crit. 
and gets two. Safe. Looks like there's no other shots. Click and Dutch will trade though here. Looks like we got it. just a primary. Okay. Hit crit. A little surprise. You you fire a an ion torpedo to try to get an auto damage, right? Oh, sorry, this was Deslin shot into to, that's why. It's a primary from Click into Dutch. And Dutch is going to actually be taking two shields there. No evades, just double eyeballs. Kingdom for a focus. Now we have the Ion Torpedo shot. Assuming he opts to do it, to take it, he does. So it is taking that one. No range bonus there. Flips the charge. Oh. Horrible start. Spend the lock and try to get. Oh, that's so bad. Well, that's not going to do it. There's the evade. And that is so unlikely, you guys. Roll four dice, only get. They get nothing. Reroll four dice and get just one. You really expect to get two after all of that dice rolling, man. I almost expect to get three. Saying. That's it. I'm re rearranging our overlay here so that the higher initiative pilots are towards the top. Put Dutch over AP5. There we go. That's better. Gonna watch Stranger Things final episode with my wife. Enjoy. I, I have not watched Stranger Things. I mean, I, I did. I watched like two or three episodes of the first season. Thanks for watching, man. Enjoy. Have a good rest of your weekend. Happy Independence Day. All right, 63 minutes left on the clock. We're starting to get close to the first quarter of the game down. But lots of time. I don't think time is going to be an issue with these players. They're playing quickly. There's, you know, with, without scenarios, there's just one less major factor to consider when with moving. It's all about just optimal approach. Where can you take advantage of your positioning, the tools that you have to take out your opponent or get them in a bad spot, right? That's the only straight up, that's what you're focusing on. I missed that dance, you know. Yeah, the, 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 I, I think a lot of people kind of, you know, may say, oh, well, they just toilet bowling for 20 minutes or whatever. I don't know. I, I don't really consider this, the way that these two are playing to be anything like that at all. So. I mean, sure, some people do that, but that's fine. It's a, it is a dance, though. It's between two people, and that's fine. They, they made their decisions. Their opponent made their decision. Flaking chicken or dare. Yeah, I mean, I always enjoyed that. For, for those for those that weren't very good at that dance, scenarios have been more forgiving and helpful, right? Gives you another avenue to win games. But at the end of the day, they've, you know, the changes that were made to 2.5, they're definitely gravitating more towards being rewarded for killing over just playing objectives. Yep, exactly, Josh, you got it. You got that right. Maybe I'll work on the Lego or start working on the Lego R2-D2 tomorrow. I also have the Scout Trooper helmet. Either one of those. Saw so someone points to pick a Star Night Lego. So there's a cool convention that you, I used to go to. I've been to three times called Brick World. That's in Schaumburg. You know, it's it's actually in the same exact convention center as Adepticon. Um, and it's incredible what people can do with Lego. It's like an art fair. It's just incredible displays. Some of these, you know, are millions of pieces. One the, f I think it was the first year I went there. It's right after Rogue One came out like a few months after it was in the summer past rogue one so the rogue one came out in the winter like december and then i was there in the summer in june and they had this display that took up like 
gosh, a couple hundred square feet, a few hundred square feet, probably 400 of Scarif. It was like, it was like the entirety of what you saw in the movie of Scarif with like the at -AT or the modified construction at ats and the viewings flying around, the whole tree line, the shoreline. They even had little like pieces to as the affect of like the beach, like the tide rolling in and out. It's just amazing. Maybe I can find a link. Do Lego Brick World Scarif. Four hole of twenty. No, it's a YouTube video. Is this it? This might have been it. Let's see. It's loading the pictures. Sorry, guys. Might have been a little off on the square footage, but still, it's a massive display. So here you are. If the, for those of you that are curious, I'll drop in the chat as the, as everyone's jockeying for position. So we got a we got a turn in and a barrel roll from Click. It's like Rick bumped into Obi, and Anakin does a one hard and just takes an evade. And, ooh, I don't know about that. Don't really like where Wedge is, but Wedge is going to just sit there with a focus. Fen Rao. Probably focus boost. You know, I'm not sure if that was the same display, only because the one that I saw, I think, was even more detailed than that. Um, but that is that was one that was there a couple years ago. See if I can find the right one. Because they've done it multiple times. They've done Scarif multiple times. But it was incredible. I mean, that one's really cool, too. Alright, so here we go with Fen. He's going to have range 2 into click. Spend it, make it 3. Nice shot. Click. This rules all the paint, but it's going to take 2 anyways had often to barrel roll for the action next up wedge is, has has click at range one this could be the kill shot here but only two. Oh, has the lock from dutch that's right three spend the focus gonna do it that's gonna kill click so guaranteed to kill the viewing goes down that is a 34-0 lead for the Rebels early on. Obi-Wan, CLT shot, does have obstructed bullseye range three on Dutch. Would be two plus a focus result. Dutch would be rolling three. Gonna re-roll with target lock. Spend and make it three. Dutch. What does Dutch do here? Dutch rolls two evades. Only takes one. So one damage card into the hole. Five hole remaining on the Y Wing. Dutch back. Doesn't have. Looks like these are just primaries. For one. Probably not going to do anything. Does not, as expected. <laughs> and as always, the dreaded AP5 shot. This is what always does the damage. And the dreaded AP5 whiff. So now it's going to be up to Anakin and Obi to try to stop Wedge and Fen. That's a tall order. Because neither Anakin or Obi have a three dice gun natively outside of the bullseye. And they're moving first. So a bit of a hole losing click the way he did. See if Deslin, how Deslin responds. Rick is Rick also is just a two dice gun, but his ability gives him a chance to get the third. 
but not sure how often that's going to come up. Guys, I don't know if you're if you're spending your there's a few people spending their Saturday nights with us here. I know I'm wearing this Rebel shirt, but it doesn't mean I'm necessarily cheering for the Rebels. But you're spending your night with us. Thank you. I hope you're having a good weekend so far. But cheers. Cheers. I got my Yeti. Filled with water this time. Just drinking water. Good stuff. Cheers, man. So where are where's everyone going? AP five, I would imagine AP five could be doing like a one bank. I could see Dutch doing a one straight or one bank, and then I would I could I think Fenra is going to have to do a one hard to avoid hitting that rock. Uh, a two hard I don't think is going to clear. A one hard and then you could probably threaten uh, Anakin, come down that side lane. I'm not sure if a one bank from Wedge clears that rock. I think it does, but it's a little close. Yeah, we'll see a coordinate from AP5, like, pretty much guaranteed. I think we're about set with the dials here. Oh, changing his mind on Dutch. Guys, have any plans um, for Sunday or Monday? Did anybody buy fireworks? I hear the firework cost of fireworks has gone like way up. I've never been one to buy and you know dabble in the fireworks, but then you know, inflation's hitting everything. "Quote unquote" inflation, price gouging is really what it is. People just gouging prices. Yeah, being from California, fireworks can be kind of a scary proposition with all the forest fires that we get. Just wildfires, forest fires, all the fires. And here's the coordinate. Who are we giving it to? It's going to be on wedge, or no? It's going to be on Fen. Okay, Fen's going to take a focus. Oh my god, that was risky. The one bank just fits. Doesn't hit the rock. And target lock time. So you can only take one. It doesn't have R3. Yeah, he just grabbed an extra one because he was going to give it to someone else. But he is going to have Wedge take the lock. And it's also going to be put on Obi-Wan. It has to be put on the same object. Same target. Stay on target. Obi-Wan is the one bank. Hmm. Focus. Okay. Where's Wedge going? Rick, four straight. Evade. And Daredevil boost right on. Nice move by Desi there. I like that a lot. What's next? Here comes Anakin. He's doing a one bank. And gonna take an evade. Alright, that's what the Adas do. They always take an evade. There's only one action on their action bar. It is to evade. And Wedge bumps. So, Anakin maybe gives a chance to get some damage on to Wedge. Fen Rao. Uh, just one hard's and stays there because he's stressed. I forgot he was stressed. He had blinked actions last turn. AP5 lets you coordinate with exactly one stress token. So, makes it even better. AP5. So, definitely no bullseye. Range 2. But he's going to go into dodge instead. Range 2 obstructed in the dodge. So, 2 on 2. It's going to be spend the force for 2. Dodge. Takes one more. Looks like that should be half. 
Desi on the board, 23 points to 34. Here comes Wedge back into Annie. Annie's going to get one less. It's going to be three on two. But Wedge has no mods. And he only gets one. So guaranteed to evade. He locked the wrong ship, I guess. Spend that evade. Safe. Next up, Fen Rao. Should have either Rick or Annie. Anakin appears to be at range three. It is obstructed. Hi, Cleo. That's my sea stream, Kitty. Oh, the stream cutter. Dutch taking two, three more. A crit is a damaged engine. So Dutch has two left. Or sorry, one left. That must have been a shot from Rick. All right. Lastly, Dutch ranged one onto Obi. Has a lock. Could be a good shot. Here we go. For two, re-roll with the target lock for three. Nice conversion there. Lock works out. Obi-Wan taking one. That's going to be the one shield on Obi. That shield is down. Hello there. AP5. AP5 have range one. Looks like it. Just barely. That's a long range one. For two. Ugh. We won taking another. Half points on Obi Wan. So now 61 to 23. Kill Dutch. It's a closer game. Yeah, the one hard fit, and he because he got coronated from AP5, he just sat there with a focus. Obi-Wan just took half points. Dutch is on one hole with a damaged engine. And um, that is what I have for you so far. That's what you've missed. Hopefully the kid was successfully helped out of the bathtub. Yeah. I'm sure at some point maybe I'll meet your family. It'd be cool. Don't know what setting that would be in, but maybe maybe someday. Get to see the whole mystic family. The mystical family. Yeah, I'll I mean I'll and I'll be a Gen Con. I wasn't planning on going, but we made it work. We were we're splitting a room five ways, so <laughs> or four ways? No, it's five ways. Me, Andrew, Manny, Tim. And Tim. Yeah, it's five. Right. Where is everyone going? So Fenrau is stressed. Probably doing a... I could see maybe a three forward. Because I, I would imagine Rick's going to try to get in the way. Rick wants to do a three speed, but won't be able to fit it. So I could see Rick doing like a two bank. Um, or Fen could do a two straight, but I just think that's too slow. Anakin, I could see doing a, a intuitive barrel roll down and then banking or um, intuitive barrel roll. And then you could do a town roll as well, or intuitive boost and it could do a town roll. Though I don't know if the, the one speed, the one forward boost will fit. But AP5 is AP5 reversed. Oh, with Leia. So we got a Leia trigger here. AP5 reverses. 
And then gives... Oh, that fits without hitting the rock. That's nice. Gives a target lock to Dutch. Dutch then gives a lock from Fen. And then throwing it onto Anakin this time. So Dutch at one hole. And now we have a uh, R4P decrease the difficulty of the maneuver. So the white one big becomes a blue. And Rick is going to take a lock. He really doesn't know where he should put it. But I think he's going to put it on AP. Uh, he's putting on Wedge. Okay. Next up, Obi-Wan. Very nice with the sloop there. Where does Anakin go, though? We won hearts down. Okay. Well, the good news is you can just kill Dutch here. Bad news is, I don't know what Wedge is doing, but I feel like Wedge... Wedge has a 4k that might get blocked, but if Wedge did like a 1 straight or 1 bank, big oof. So this might be a decision here. I think you kind of stay there and take an evade and just hope. You really want to get a kill here. What do you guys think? He's gonna oh he's gonna boost though. Okay. Next up is we have. Fen just gets blocked. What did he do, though? What did he dial in? He did dial in at two straight. Or, uh, yeah, two straight. Wedge did the 4K. Good move from both players. But Desi avoids the... I think he would have blocked the 4K. It would have been close, though. He could have hopped right over him. Wow. It would not have gotten blocked, so it worked out for Desi. But unfortunately... It's like Dutch is gonna. Eh, Obi Wan might have a shot on Dutch. In fact, he definitely does. So there's still a chance that we we lose Dutch here. Welcome back. I recognize that name. So two hits, going into Annie. Annie is gonna have to spend his force. That's very obnoxious. He just four starved himself. Catherine did not win. Matt won, unfortunately. Here we go with uh, Wedge into Obi for, oh my god, spend it for hit crit crit. Obi-Wan is going to take a crit. And is it a direct? It is not, but it is a fuel leak. Doesn't matter on one hole. Only time it would matter if he had regen. Two hits. And Dutch. I'm oh, sorry, this was a shot from Rick into AP. So AP takes. Oh no, only one. Dutch needs to not roll a blank. Is it a blank? It is. Oh. Dutch goes down. Wow. I thought he maybe rolled the, the eyeball result there, but alas, he did not. 46 points now for Deslin. Trying to claw back. 46-61. AP5 now with a revenge season shot. Has range 1 onto Obi-Wan. Could kill him here. For 2. Obi-Wan clenches. Obi-Wan is going to die. That is rough. That sucks. So Obi-Wan down 4687 now. They updated score. Yeah, that's that's rough. So it's Anakin and Rick. All comes down to this. That is a lot to ask for. Wedge and Fen neither have taken really even a shot yet, let alone damage. So I don't know about that. Let's check somebody has Teddy Roosevelt on here already. What does that mean? NF is that sorry, I thought that's an NFT insider. I'm like, oh boy, what a name. Yeah, Tyler is Teddy Roosevelt. He won our league, actually. Our last league. Oh, 
Oh. That's funny. What's up, man? I was really confused. I don't think I've seen your Twitch name before. I definitely didn't recognize it. What's up, dude? How's it going? Oh, boy. So it comes down to the i5 and the i6. Both of them fragile boys. Tyler would know a thing or two about fragile Republic ships. I floated it around. Maybe it's just the color. It's red for me right now, and that might be throwing me off. NFL Insider Leroy. Are you are you a certified NFL Insider, though? <laughs> what is Rick doing here? Is Rick... Does Rick do like a three? Uh, it's too fast. Does he do a three hard? Maybe can he hook around the rock? Three hard evade, and then he could he could boost. But also Anakin's got to be very careful of of Fenrao coming in, probably doing a three bank or three forward boost, focus boost. Big dick Rick goes where he wants. <laughs> so now we have a coordinate here. Because of Leia, Wedge is not stressed. Wedge is going to roll. No! Rick hits the rock. Still gets his evade. He does, he does take a damage. Gets the evade, taking the evade action, because he's an Ada. Comes. Talon roll. Oh, all the way forward, doesn't hit the rock. Look at that. Unreal. It fits. And here we have a prime focus boost here. Or boost into a red focus, rather. So, here we go with Fenrau, range one. We're going to go with Wedge first. All right. Range three. Three on three from Wedge. Uh, doesn't appear to be modded. But hit crit, nonetheless. Going to have to spend everything. So now Anakin's sitting there with no force, taking a range one banger for double modded from Fenral. For that, for four. Okay, Anakin only taking two. He's not dead. I thought he was going to die there. AP5, no shot. Yeah, big oof. I think I, I, Scott probably concedes if he loses Annie. Oof, indeed. We gotta redeem Curb. Curb it! Curb! <laughs> it's just how Anakin's feeling right now. Like Larry David, but just a lot younger. And with hair. We've got, we've got a kitty over here. This is the photo over here. She's very sleepy. She is a sleepy cat. <laughs> We're coming up on the 36 minute mark. I feel a little bit better for Desi here, like at all better. If he had done any damage to Wedge, but he just he just hasn't been able to yet. Rick is out of position, and um, Anakin is just in a really bad spot.
He's he's gonna use a reposition though. He's gonna why not? AP five. Here comes another coordinate. Either Fen or Wedge here. Doesn't matter if they're stressed because of AP five doing AP five things. And it looks like we're gonna get a barrel roll from Fen to set up the the two hard. Rick three hard gonna just daredevil boost it. He's coming back. He's like I'm coming. I'm coming, buddy. Anakin, stop panicking. He is gonna boost. Okay, Wedge is definitely just doing a one straight though. Does block Fen. Too hard does not clear. And Wedge. Yeah. Just, I don't know, what what, you, what can you do, right? So, Wedge. Take a focus, probably, the call. Uh, what? Just kill him. He's got one hole left, man. Alright, he's gonna barrel roll him. Being a little too cheeky, though. He's got full health. Why don't you just sit there? <laughs> Safe. AP5 is fine. P shooter shot. Now we got range 1 from Wedge. So you have a lock out there? Two hits. And that's that's gonna kill him. GG's. Desi concedes. There it is. Let's jump down and thank him. Alright, I'll keep it keep it short, guys. Thank you so much for the game. Appreciate it. Wait, where's the text? Where's te oh, this text? There it is. G. Here we go. Zoom extra in on the GG so we can all see the GGs. Give me my credits, Nick. Give me my credits. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. It's a little bit of self collusion going on. Is that even a thing? Self colluding? Uh, I bet 30,000 against myself. <laughs> no, there's your credits, man. You know what's sad, though? I feel really bad is that we're resetting the credits. So I'll give you a day. I'll give you an extra day to enjoy them.